Good day to one and all. This is Dr. Sivaraman of INOIndices.com and you know that I have been presenting a webinar series in commemoration of the 10th anniversary series, 10th anniversary celebration of Apex Trade. And today I will be presenting the 8th webinar in this sequence, Strategic Trading Technique. What is the difference between strategic trading and the normal trading? So, in a normal trading, we just go along with that of the market and try to see whether we can do a sell and buy trade and a buy and sell trade using some technical analysis or fundamental analysis or using gut feeling or whatever it is, using any sort of algorithm. Then subsequently, if the market goes against, we don't even think about it. But in a strategic trading, we envisage the unexpected can happen in the market at any given time. So as a precaution, we try to do the trade with the contingency plan of in the event the market moves against us. So that is strategic trading. So we plan if the market moves in our favor, what are the steps we are going to do? And in the event if the market goes against us, what are the steps we are going to do? And that is referred as strategic trading. So strategically, we handle the position and try to see that we are able to come out with a net profit. So in this special webinar series, and this is all about the trading, last webinar and this webinar all about trading, I am trying to compile most of the information what I had given in the earlier webinars and try to give you how exactly the trading ideas can be developed. Now, there are some platforms, they don't offer the hedging facility like the US trading platforms. So in the event that the hedging facility is not available, probably the only solution is they can use the stock. So if you are afraid of using the stock, because you know that market shows plenty of time the volatility and probably our stock could be filled and subsequently the market could go against us. So in the event, without a stock and without a hedging, how exactly one can plan the trading. So this is again a strategic trading wherein you plan without any of the other facilities available in the trading platform. You only try to take the positions and only keep the limits and you are prepared with your usable margin in the event if the market goes against you. What the maximum the market can do? The usable margin can erode. But only if the usable margin becomes zero, the margin call will be applied. So if the usable margin is still there and you are willing to take certain amount of risk and you are trying to earn in every trade, that is a normal scenario of every trader that every trade I want to earn profit. I do not want to lose money. Then we have to go in for less trade, more comfort cost. So, take only one position at a time. When the usable margin is more than $30,000 or more, and spread the risk. Then, trading with the hedging could limit the risk, but you don't have the hedging facility. So, obviously, you need to spread the risk. Because the players can only make the moves in the market with a specific volatility or with the limitations on a daily basis or a monthly basis or a weekly basis, whatever it is. And they cannot continuously rise or continuously drop. And even if they drop continuously, they have to bring in the volatility because they cannot take any currency to zero or to infinity. So with this particular understanding of limitation and having understood in the past, they can do a maximum of about 2,000 to 4,000 pips moves in the market on the upside or on the downside. So how exactly one can do the trading? So that is understanding the total boundary of the market and what could be the possibility? It can go up by 2,000, 3,000 pips or it can come down by 2,000, 3,000 pips. So how exactly we can plan our trade? So without a hedging or a stop, we take unlimited risk. But we know very well, none of the currencies can go to zero or they cannot become useless currency. As long as they are majors, they will be supported well and when the traders turn shut.
shot at the lower level the players are bound to make it make an upward move and the traders turn short on the higher side then they are expected to gain further up and subsequently when the traders turn long and they are bound to make it downward move so in such an event you are only going to use a mental stop okay in the event the market goes beyond my holding capacity i'll simply exit out of the position so that is the only contingency plan then subsequently we can take one mini lot at every 140 pips away say currently euro is trading around 1.32 area so 1.3050 one buy then another buy 1.29 so every 150 pips you keep a buy order and subsequently keep in every buy order a limit of 100 pips and close the platform and if they just to fill two three positions fine in a day or two it might be showing loss but you have got the limit and subsequently when they reverse the market you will be able to close the position with a profit you can open the platform the next day or the third day or whatever it is you see whether the limit is being filled and it appears the market is not gaining strength it could go up go down further then probably wherever is the macros profit we just book it and that money is being released to take another lower level buy position at 150 pips away from it in the case of gbp we try to trade then 250 pips away from each position you can keep one mini lot orders in the platform no platform can bring margin call for you at the maximum they can charge overnight interest and you are earning in that gbp can be about 150 pips limit for 250 pips spread of the risk and you will find that every position is earning money at the end you feel that okay i have earned enough money and some of the last making position i don't mind cutting it still i'll have a net profit you can close it by end of the month or beginning of the month then review again the market and try to place the order so at a given time you place about 3 4 orders and if the going is not good then probably spread the risk every 200 pips or 250 pips and if the going is good then on the upside when your market is moving in your favor you try to book profit in that and subsequently you try to take initial uh, buy just 150 pips the net permissible level for that particular day today you come across in the live market could be you are shown a negative net change of 30 pips So another 120 pips below, you try to keep a buy order. Then you start from there. So this way, without a hedging, you will be able to spread the risk, and you are exposing at every time only one mini lot, and probably at the maximum you can accumulate about seven to eight mini lots or ten mini lots. Still, if you keep the limits in each, you will find that when the market is reversing, all the positions are closing with a profit. So this is one of the strategies. wherein the people are not in a position to watch all the time the market and they are doing only a part time trade still they want to have their earnings from the market and once they have a contingency plan of this nature do not interfere in this particular plan and go with this try it in a demo trading platform and after one or two months or three months you see how you are progressing you, you might think that no this is not Uh, really good because i am not holding any position or i am not i am not i am simply watching the market and i am not doing anything in an impulsive way don't think it think that way and it is a easy way of trading in the market understanding the limitation of the total spread possibility in the market then swing trades when you think of doing it for 30 to 40 pips obviously you need to manually close your position when the going is not good for two hours or two sessions and if the going is good then try to keep stop at entry this is the immediate contingency plan as soon as the position start making profit keep stop at entry so that you do you didn't you will not have any fear of loss booking in the market then hedging can be used to view the market either way instead of a stop if the platform offers the hedging facility then you have to understand the advantages and the limitations of hedging and how exactly it can be used effectively so that you'll be able to earn the net profit 
whatever way the market moves either on the upside or the downside you will be able to continue to earn from the whole market and you will come across net profit see when you are thinking of swing trade and immediately when it is hedged you feel you are struck that means you are not able to think beyond once you are able to keep your mind clean and with an objective view try to review the possibility in the market there can be two type of traders one holding a long position another one holding a short position during the volatile moves the traders on one side or the other side will be booking the profit and the other set of people will be booking the loss so whichever way you try to review the market or perceive the market you can always find that the money earning possibility still remains but only thing is we don't think about it and we only hold the last making position and think that the market will move in our favor but you have to understand the players are making the moves in the market not against the individual trader against the herd of traders a large group of traders who are taken one sided position so now they are holding euro and gbp at a higher level and not making either an upward move or a downward move a nominal swing is being handled done and what it looks like they are trying to induce the short sellers to come for a short covering before the prime data release probably if they gain one more 100 pips and immediately the short sellers will become highly worried and probably after the data they could rise further upward prime data release on thursday and friday they will try to come in a hurry and close the positions otherwise they will find that feasible margin could further erode this sort of conditions they try to create on every occasion and try to earn from that of the trade and we have to definitely have a strategic plan and if you have a strategic plan then you objectively view when the market goes on the upside how exactly i am going to handle it when the market goes on the downside how exactly i am going to handle it using the hedging then hedging gives you the greatest opportunity for you to review your positions in relation to that other market volatility suppose your position is hedged and subsequently you find that both the positions are making loss it doesn't mean that you have to become impulsive or restless and you are struck it is not at all like that market cannot sustain in that particular level forever and it will be making the volatile moves and if you wait for another two hours or one day you will be able to come across either on the buy side or the sell side will be making crop then from there you can continue trading or perceive the market moves and understand okay which position you can close the other position will be able to earn much more than that so at the end of the day you will be able to earn net profit so that should be the objective of using the hedging the hedging can be done in various forms and there are uh, large exporters and the importers and also those who are doing the currency conversion trade and they probably hedge their spot market conversion with regard to that of the futures market that is one way of doing it and suppose somebody has exported some commodity and after three months if they are going to realize the money and they will not take the risk of the currency fluctuation immediately take a power cover so that they will be able to see that they are not losing the money so that is one way of uh, using the hedging just to limit the risk and not used for trading just to limit the risk and you come across the other type of hedging namely the hedge funds the hedge funds use the fund exclusively to take the positions against that of the holding position so suppose if they are buying euro at 1.32 and they could come across a risk suddenly euro could go down then they estimate the level okay once euro goes below that of 1.29 immediately we will use the money for hedging so that if it further goes down we will be able to book profit in that and thereby will there is no need to cut the original position so that way they try to use the hedging in order to prevent for the loss so hedging can be used that way and they are all nothing but the contingency plans and not for the trading purpose so 
how exactly in a trading platform the hedging can be used effectively so there is another opportunity namely the hedging can be done with a cross but when you are trying to hedge with the help of the cross you have to choose the currency in the same numerator or the denominator position in the event of the hedging facility is not available in the trading platform suppose you have got a buy position in euro and you think that it is not going good probably euro could drop then immediately you can go in for a hedging with regard to euro gbp position because euro is on the numerator side so if you have got a buy in euro you can take a sell position in euro gbp cross wherein euro is numerator against usd in one currency pair the other currency pair euro is the numerator against it. gbp that way you can take it or euro yen you can consider but you have to see that they are not making the contrarian moves because you know that during the asian session live market analysis i explained that how exactly the contrarian move was seen today euro was making a negative net change gbp was making a negative change and subsequently usd yen also made negative net change so even now if you look into that of the live market what page you come across all the three currency pairs are showing negative net change whenever such a contrarian move happens we try to use it for hedging then probably both the positions might be showing loss so that is not a good time to use the hedging when you are going for hedge, hedging using the cross then for that you have to see the net change levels whether they are in the red or in the green and then subsequently take a decision whether that particular currency can be used for hedging then hedging should limit the risk and you should not lead to over trading so if you continue to hedge the positions using some other currency then additional usable margin will be taken and that may give an impression to you that you are over trading and in case <coughs> sorry if you have taken the positions with a wrong currency pair and both the currency pair started uh, taking away the usable margin then you will come across that the hedging has become useless that means you are not identified the correct hedging currency or the currency in which you hold the position so when you are going for the hedging with a different currency you have to understand that and they are not making the uh, contrary move in that case how exactly the hedging can be taken say for example now euro is trading around 1.3202 you like to take a buy position there thinking that it can give about 30 40% profit you can keep the hedging order in the case of euro gbp when euro drops then euro gbp will also drop so you will keep a sell limit order in the case of euro gbp currently it is trading around 80 to 85 So, thirty pips below eighty to fifty five, you will keep a sell limit order. You are not going to hedge immediately. You will only keep a sell hedging order just to limit the risk in case if the market goes against you. Hope you are able to understand that. Probably I will explain it with the help of the figures later on. If the hedging and the hedging, if if you are using the hedge and it is hedged, then the hedging makes profit. We can take. other way position in the other currencies to earn some swing trade profit say you are taking a euro buy position and it is hedged subsequently you find the gbp is also dropping and both are showing negative net change you can quickly take a sell position in gbp and try to earn about 30 pips and similarly you can take a buy position in euro ch and try to earn about 30 pips so all these trades can be done after keeping stop at entry in every trade so the hedging also indicate that you are on the wrong side so even though you don't handle that particular position you try to take opportunity in with regard to the other position other currency is why because you have a cooling period of 30 minutes to watch whether the hedging is making profit or not and if the hedging is making profit simply keep stop at entry in the hedging and once they start moving in your favor you can try to book some profit and this sort of trades can be done if you view the volatility as a trading opportunity so in the event if the hedging is not 
making is the hedging is continuously making profit the other position is not making profit you can simply close the other position and wherever the profit is seen you try to maximize the profit and try to earn and this can be done whenever you come across a usd weakening or usd strengthening trend not during contrarian moves hope you are able to understand when they are making contrarian moves see that they don't they are not expected to make big moves and also they are not expected to make an upward stop and or a downward stop when they are not making such moves then the profit earning potency will be very less in such type of reverse trading so keep all these conditions in mind then try to do the trades you will be able to really successfully earn from the other market then let me explain this i have been explaining during the tracking the forex market together webinars so the advantages of hedging the hedging is used instead of stop if the hedging facility is available in the trading platform and the hedging if it is available in the trading platform they don't normally take the additional margin other than that of the bank wherein if you take the position if they offer the hedging facility they take additional margin but online trading platforms they don't take additional margin then the hedging is It can be used to continue trade when the market moves in your favor. Suppose you are taking a sell position at 1.2950 in the case of euro, and subsequently kept a hedging at 1.3000 as a psychological level, and subsequently the market has gone up, and you have simply hedged it and kept the stop at entry. Let them come back to my level, then I will continue the trading. That is one way of reviewing the market, and the other way. you can simply close the sell position and and the difference between the sell and the buy will be only 30 pips if you are using a 30 pips hedging order and the buying the buy position will be making say 100 pips profit the sell position will be making about 130 pips loss but still the difference is only 30 pips if the market moves upward another 30 pips you are having a break even and if they move further upward you will be in the money you will be able to earn money out of that particular move so that there is no holding of the position needed then the hedging can be used to reverse the trade that is what i explained just by cutting the uh, sell or the buy position and continuing with the profit making position then the hedging can be used in the event of emergency and suppose you need to attend to some other work immediately you can hedge the position in the market with the market and subsequently attend to your work and come back and review the market and your position and if the hedging is making loss and the original position is making profit you can cut the hedging and with the 70 pips loss and the original position will be making 30 pips profit and uh, 40 pips profit once it moves up another 30 pips you can do it suppose after hedging the market has gone about 200 300 pips away and you are afraid of cutting such a big loss you simply close the hedging with that of the original position still you will incur only 30 pips acceptable loss and even if you have kept a stop the same thing would have happened and so the advantage is you can come up leisurely and still close the position with a nominal loss of 30 pips then hedging can be used to close the position at any time frame only thing is they might charge the overnight interest and that will be the only difference other than that you don't come across any big problem using the hedging then the hedging can be used to spread the risk as i explained in the beginning without the hedging you can spread the risk by keeping orders buy or the sell orders 150 pips away from each other and in that if you use the hedging then subsequently when the market moves downward for a one month then subsequently you will find that all the hedging might be making profit close all the hedging and subsequently keep the hedging order for all at the bottom when the last hedging order is not consistently making profit for two sessions or two days then subsequently close the last hedging with a loss the rest of the hedging with a profit then keep collective hedging order for all the positions the market will move upward you will be able to book the profit above the average of all the buy positions or one by one whichever is making profit so you have various options available as the strategy then hedging can be used for breakout trade suddenly you come across euro uh, as is currently holding around 1.3 uh, 
1.3208 and the low is 1.3184 and the high is 1.3238. You do not know during the US session which way they are going to make the move in the market. And you can simply take a buy position or a sell position, whichever you find it convenient and keep the uh, hedging order. You expect euro to drop, then you try to take a sell and keep the uh, hedging order above near that of the high and say the high is 1.3238 you keep a hedging order there and once the market moves in your favor straight away you keep stop at entry and continue to book stop in case if it goes up and hit your hedge and you see that the hedging is making profit immediately close the buy position sell position and hold the buy position that will be the breakout trade above that of the high they spike up then quickly book the profit on the upside then hedging can be used without additional margin I explained it what are the limitations of hedging when the position is hedged the and the market stays in between then you come across sometimes that the market is not showing profit on the buy side or the sell side but you have to really patiently wait so that any one side will start making the profit this happens when you continue to hold the uh, continue to close the hedging and keep under the hedging order and if it is filled then the gap between the buy and the sell could be increased so you should be able to really watch for 30 minutes once the position is hedged if you are a beginner and once you become a seasoned trader within 10 minutes you will be able to read whether the hedging was hit during stop and or it is hit during the extended move and if it is hedged during the extended move simply wait for two hours and then subsequently book profit on the head side the next day they will make the intentional move and try to book profit on the downside so we need to handle it understanding the market moves if the hedging is uh, filled and it, there is no point in getting confused which way the market is going to head and then what I am going to do with the hedged position then you find it is a real limitation if you understand the type of moves and if you understand very well market does not stagnate in a particular level for a prolonged period they will be making up and down moves and definitely if the hedging is filled with 30 pips obviously you will come across that either way profit booking opportunities will come then the widespread opposition with the hedging can be really help to earn either way suppose you got the uh, position trading about 150 pips I explained that everything has got a hedging then subsequently you find one hedging you might be closing with the last the rest of the hedgings you will be making profit and also on the upside when they reverse the market and go up you will be able to book profit on the upside provided you take only one mini lot at a time and your usable margin is sufficient enough to hold the positions without a margin call. Don't try to expose more than that of 5% in that particular condition of your equity. Then, when you try to do this sort of trade, position trade, spreading the hedging, or I mean spreading the risk and also using the hedging, then exit and enter during that of the month beginning and month end understanding the monthly market cycle okay the monthly market cycle will be of this nature and you see they will start from that of the high and come down and then subsequently go up again they will not take it to zero or they will not take it to infinity keep it in mind then if the market shows loss on either way wait patiently and market rewards patience so when both the buyers as well as the sales are making loss you probably wait and in case if you find that suddenly the market has moved against your expectation, simply hedge the market, the, the buy position or a sell position which is unfavorable and try to review it for about one or two days. Then you will be able to really understand whether you have done it emotionally or you could have done it other way. So that you have, you will be able to come to that of the normal sense once you come out of that emotion because the emotion grips only for about 30 minutes. Then afterwards, if you hold the position without any risk limiting factor, 
then the emotions will continue to be there whenever there is a small swing happen or whenever you come across a, a candle of 30 pips and 40 pips so obviously we need to use the risk limiting factor as a money management factor then subsequently patiently wait for you to achieve the objective rather than simply become restless once the position becomes hedged let me go in for a sample trade and this sample trade i want to show you how exactly the entry exit and the entry stop can be decided and i was recommended why not you use a chart so let me just use the chart even though i stopped using the chart for so many time for so many years but still for the benefit of understanding it gives you a better clarity i am happy about it so this is euro chart so people might be surprised i am showing chart now so in the case of euro you come across this is a 5 minutes chart and it is taken from a fixed street chart module and you find currently euro is trading around at 1.32 here this particular level and so the low is 1.3184 which has formed here and it has taken more than 30 minutes and it has taken almost a session and they come came closer to that 1.3190 or 89 and subsequently gone up and currently trading around that of 1.3198 1.3201 and things like that so you'll want to know what sort of trade you can do it already the market has come down so what do i do so instead of giving importance to that of the candle upward and the downward candle formation you plan with regard to the hedging suppose you are trying to keep a limit order around 1.23205 a sell limit order thinking that during the european session it could drop you find that they have been making a pump and dump move all along so there it is gap time they are making a small dump between 13 to 1330 gmt so that means they will form it up so near that of the high you like to take a sell position so or around that of 1.3215 or 1.3220 or whatever you you come across as a statistically derived level you are trying to keep a sell limit order then keep a hedging order in case if you are following a chart you can keep about 30 40 pips above that yes yeah, sell limit order and instead you can simply look into that of the live market put page where you come across 1.3238 is a high so in case if they make they may make about 20 30 pips stop and on the upside so try to keep about 30 or 35 pips above that also a hedging order there is no harm in it so as long as you are able to bear that particular risk it is fine 1.3245 or 1.32 uh, sorry 1.3238 is the high from their 30 pips so 1.3268 you keep your hedging order so this hedging order you are keeping it instead of a stop just to limit the risk in case if the market goes against me then i will be hedged then i know how to review the hedge and once the position is hedged there is no need to compare it to that of the earlier lows and think that this person will also come for a those who have gone short here will come for a short covering or those who have gone short here for a short come for a short covering instead of doing all sorts of analysis and try to find out the moving average of exactly whether they are going upward or a downward the moving average tells indirectly that whether there could be a selling pressure or a buying pressure at a specific level that's all and so obviously you will come across once the position is hedged then you know there is a buying pressure so because of that the market is going up then how to handle the hedging so you can do various type of analysis or a simple analysis whether it is a stop and on the upside or whether it is an extended move on the upside if that is the case you keep stop at entry then once they go up and then subsequently come down then you will be able to stop out of your hedging and once they come down you will be able to book call in case if they go higher 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 1.33 1.34 no harm you simply close your sell position you continue to hold the buy position the difference between that might be about 30 40 pips instead of simply losing 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 position in a restless way 
try to do a sell and buy trade and immediately you find that it is making loss immediately cut that and do a buy and sell trade that is also not going good when a market is lackluster then you can patiently do to do this sort of trade simply close the sell position if they are continuously spiking up and try to see that the limit for the day 150 pips rise then see whether they are doing it up to that and if they come about 30 40 pips in the first rise then understand that they can rise another 30 pips and third time 30 pips so 90 pips they can rise then afterwards they stop cutting the high we try to close it with a profit on the buy side so that way whether the market is making up and down move you try to buy it you try to buy it say for example here and subsequently the market has come down and filled your hedge and the hedging is not making profit when you are watching for 15 minutes or 75 minutes when they come closer to this then you try to close it and see that you are able to see the profit on the original position and you try to close it on the upside so always you come across if you move the chart you will be able to understand that they will try to consolidate at a place and subsequently make a downward move and quickly gain the levels and make an upward stop and, and after an upward stop and a downward stop and after that an upward stop and a downward stop that is the way they earn money today the range is very very narrow that is why you come across that even the five minutes chart looks very very uh, subdued and if you probably look at one minute chart you will, chart you will be able to understand the volatility of the market and these are all nothing but the range is from 1.3184 to 1.3238, hardly about 50 pips. So obviously nobody will be interested in doing any sort of trade when they are ma making a maximum move of 50 pips in this market. So you have to understand on a daily basis that disadvantage of the chart is in case if the move becomes big, then invariably you find that the chart red becomes wider it looks a very big chart but actually if you refer to that of the pips you find it is hardly about 40 pips or 50 pips and this particular move has happened about only 20 pips so if you understand this so now after the gap time they are slowly firming up the initial gap time they are just dipped after the in the middle of the gap time they are gaining it and now they are expected to gain some more level and then only Start making the slide of a little bit of upward swing around these levels. So you can monitor that and subsequently do it. In case if they break out above that of the high, you try to use a technical trade. Buy above that of the high when they sustain above that of high for more than 30 minutes, and when they move up, quickly trail the stop and book profit. So keep all the strategies in hand as you are working strategies, depending upon the market move. You try to use the strategies, whatever is warranted in that particular market move. So let us take a sample trade. So as I, we have seen that gap time they made a dip and subsequently they are slowly firming it up. So from the start of the session, they could make at least for 30 minutes. A draw. So we will try to keep a sell limit order. I am just giving an example of euro so that you can monitor. So how exactly I am doing it? 1.3235. Just three pips below that of the high 1.3238, which you can see it in the live market code page and exit. I am trying to keep it as the low 1.3134, sorry 1.3184 to start with. Then subsequently, I am keeping a hedging order 30 pips above. That will be 1.3265. Hope you are able to understand how the orders are placed beforehand. So I only keep a sell entry order, sell limit order, it is not actual market order. Why I am keeping a limit order? Because I know pretty well when I, when it comes to 1.3 to 3.5, when I click, the platform may not give a definite fill for me and they may give a slippage. So how to handle it? 
try to keep a limit order so that they will give a definite fill on that. Probably the market may go about two, three pips above or just come up to this and things like that. Still, you can modify the order. This is initial decision. Then subsequently, when they quickly rise it, you can simply remove the order and see how exactly they are handling the high. If they simply uh, go above the high and stay above the high for more than 30 minutes. After removing the order, take a buy position there and try to move forward. So you keep your mind very, very objective and calm. I am willing to do a sell and buy trade. If they are making against my initial calculation, I am willing to do a buy and sell trade. But I will not simply do a buy any level. I will only take a buy above that of the high. If they sustain above the high for more than 30 minutes, understanding that they want to make an extended move for at least two hours. Then I am keeping an initial limit of 1.3184 because that is a low set of play and in case if they come below that of 1.32 and come quickly, I can lower it to 1.3154 and if they come cut the low 1.3184 and sustain below there for more than 30 minutes, I move it to 75 pips or 90 pips away based on the first drop. If the first drop is just 25 pips, I know that another 25, another 25, they are going to drop. So ultimately 75 pips. So from this particular level, 75 pips below, I'll keep my limit or just 72 pips so that I'll get a definite fill. In case if they drop straight away below that low 50 pips, then they are going to drop another 50 and another 50. I will calculate from here 150 pips or 120 pips and try to keep because they Daily limitation of 150 pips, beyond that they may not go. So, at times they may breach it in, the, in need of volume. In that case, I will try to keep a limit of 130 pips or 140 pips and maximize the profit. I will not simply do that. I will remove the hedging order and keep stop at entry and stop trailing it downward when they are closing in. So, this is how the trading strategy has to be. You have to work hard for that. And you cannot simply watch all the time and they just waste your time looking at the market and probably you might become fatigued when you do that, when you really involve yourself in doing this sort of trade systematically, you just removing the hedging order, keeping the stop at entry and this sort of thing will really give diversion for your mind and your mind will be fresh to think, okay, what could be the next strategy? You will be able to always think about the strategy of handling the position rather than become upset with the market. Ups, becoming upset with the technical analyst or a fundamental analyst or with yourself or with the platform provider does not help you make money from the other market. So you have to understand your limitation and you have to understand if at all you want to earn from the trade, you have to use the strategy by yourself. Others can give you suggestions, but ultimately you have to implement it. And otherwise, you will go on your own and continue to hold the unpleasant situations. So, let me minimize the PowerPoint presentation and try to take up the questions asked here. Meanwhile, I will focus the camera over the the live market page so that you will be able to track how exactly the limit order what we have taken is going to do for us. Okay. I have not understood the 150 pips away strategy. If I have a buy limit every 150 pips, where do I keep? Yeah, so VAM. So today current low is 1.53184 and you know the net change is 25 pips negative. So another 225 pips below you keep your first buy order in case you are commencing your trade from today. So from that of yesterday's close you will be keeping 150 pips below as a first buy order. In case if you want to keep a sell and you think that the market has already gone up, that would be a correction, then you try to keep your sell order about 175 pips above that of this net change. So, so currently it is 25 pips or 24 pips, then subtract it, then you will come across the 
the zero level. From there, add another hundred and fifty and keep SL limit order there. And if you want, you keep thirty pips hedging order there, or simply keep another sell order hundred and fifty pips above that. And in case if they make about six hundred seven hundred pips move, we'll be holding only about two to three positions. And if you use hedging, if not the buy, the sell will be making profit. So that way you can the trades on either way, and you can open platform whichever is making profit, or if it is already closed with a profit, be happy with that. And if all the positions are exhausted, keep some more positions there, and if you know that very well the market cannot continue to drop, and you cannot keep standard lots, and you need to hold about. 300k or 500k in order to do standard lot orders. You can only keep mini lot orders when the usable margin is more than thirty thousand dollars. Only then it will work. Okay, keep these conditions. Don't simply keep two thousand dollars and try to do that averaging trading. Then it will lead to margin trouble because this is a system, a strategy, understanding the overall. Market spear, not just like that. We estimate it. Can check 150 pips stop loss with 100 pips target limit. No, it is not a stop loss. So if you use stop loss, we cannot keep 150 pips stop loss. So that is wrong. You can only use. You can only afford to take about 30 pips loss. I said a hedging order of 150 pips. And original position keeps. Keep 100 pips limit. Say, for example, they come down and hit your buy position, and subsequently they have gone on another only 20, 30 pips, or even 50 pips. You have not kept the hedging order. Then they start going up. Then that buy position with 150 pips, 100 pips limit can be closed. In case if they drop another 150 pips from that of original buy position, you You will be taking another buy position, but both the positions without a hedging. In case if you are using hedging in the first position, and if it is hedged and making loss, don't worry about. It. Next day you come and see. Then if it is really making loss for two sessions to two days, then you close it with say 70 pips loss or 100 pips loss. The other position will be holding 70 pips profit, and you can just close the hedging. And once the market goes up. You will be able to earn net profit out of that, and this sort of strategy, you will not do a buy and sell trade at the peak. You will try to do a sell and trade, sell and buy trade at the peak, peak, and when you are trading at in a psychological level below that of 1.20 and 1.22 and things like that, at that time you can spread the risk on the downside. Many said that it can go to 1.17. You keep orders up to 1.17. Afterwards, it has to gain up. No, it cannot stay there ever, forever, and so you have to identify where where the market is, and accordingly on the sell side you can keep the orders, or on the buy side you have to keep the orders. Not blindly you can keep it. You have to do a little bit of analysis of the market, and that I have not explained it because I am only trying to explain the strategy here. And John, uh, if your example uh, are not. Supposed to buy close to the resistance in the case of the hedge. Okay, suppose uh, when you are keeping a hedging order at one point three two three zero and you are taking a sell around one point three two, that is what you are trying to do it. And I am not. I will not take a sell position near that of the low or a buy position near that of the high. I will try to take a buy position above that of the high. This I explained in the basic trading strategy as a technical trade type of trades in the previous webinar. So if euro goes above 1.3238 and sustain there for more than 30 minutes, and then I will try to take 1.3245 a buy and aim to close it once they gain up after keeping stop at entry. Hope you are able to understand. So any level I will not do a sell and buy trade or a buy and sell trade. Only near that of the high. I will try to sell, and if they go above that of the high and hedge me, and the hedging is making profit, then I will try to take another buy position and try to book profit in both. So this way you can improve when you are trading strategies if you use hedging.
for trading development of trading strategies is there supposed to be a chart no need because i was asked to explain this with the help of the chart i shown the chart then balance how did you trade go from the last session okay you are asking a personal question uh, can you show that outcome from that of the previous zero gbp trade even if small loss no problem so balance i explained the trading strategy we want to show me my record okay but uh, i not kept the record ready here probably i can display it uh in a blog or anywhere because it is close to that at the time because i don't have in this particular computer my trading record to show you the record but let me tell you that i will not unnecessarily misguide people okay and when can you please also explain 150 strategy like a simple hedging example for better understanding okay if you keep 150 pips uh of uh, a buy position say for example euro is currently trading around 1.3200 then 150 pips below i keep a buy order 1.3050 and a hedging order 1.3020 okay if they fill my buy order and continue to drop and fill my hedging i simply watch whether the hedging is making profit if the hedging is making profit i can keep stop the entry or simply leave it and then subsequently when they drop further downward another 150 pips my another order below that will be filled and there again i'll keep the hedging order and see when they start dropping it my second hedging order might be making say for example 20 30 pips loss but my first higher level hedging order is making more than that a profit so when i simultaneously close both i will have a net profit on the downside once they realize that they started rising upwards okay using your own uh, uh, trading strategy i mean using your own uh, market reading i explained how the market reading can be done and besides if you have any other system of market reading you can do it that way because ultimately the trading strategy is going to help you to earn money from that other market rather than doing all sorts of analysis that is good for educational purpose but ultimately if you want to earn money from that other market then you have to necessarily learn the trading strategies to limit the risk and maximize the profit the last session not not euro was 1.3084 and gbp and 1.5815 sell hedged okay you are talking about your personal position i have given you a solution during uh, in the chat also balance at the time that you have to necessarily wait whether the hedging is making profit or not and if the hedging is making profit try to keep stop at entry and try to wait for the market to come down then close your hedging and continue to go downward and if you feel that market could go up for the higher level then close your original position and try to maximize the profit on the buy side no if you continue to close the hedging and keep on the hedging order it might give you a frustrated situation for you but it is as good as holding a position without a stop or without a hedge at least you will be in a position to earn on the reversal move or the opposite move if you are using the hedge yeah i'll then the next person can you please show the hedging example from today's video i'll show it so please show the webinar seven hedges results okay now i don't have the uh, orders with me ready here and probably you can just understand relate those orders with regard to the market moves and understand that and you want everything to be given to you as a ready reckoner then probably the time is very short for us to finish the webinar in 45 minutes probably in a trading room it could be possible okay so let me go back to that of the point presentation so this is the trade uh, plan i just set up and you can see what happens to this particular plan and probably if you got any questions pertaining to that you can leave the questions below that of the webinar recording then i can answer to those questions or you can ask it in the blog or you can send email i'll be happy to answer to those questions 
so next week i'll meet again and present the next webinar my trading system ninth webinar trade at ease so i'll give you the strategies how exactly you can trade at ease and still make money from the other market without spending more than one session or one and a half session or a few hours in the market okay until then bye see you